Hello everybody, O'Neal Gerald Donald here, and I actually said something on my video about Chloe's Have Mercy. Unfortunately, pop music is kind of leans more towards the lighter voices that kind of ride over the mix. I was gonna just leave it, but then someone named Nemi Fjord actually commented and asked a question about the exact same thing. Shout out to you, Nemi. I hope I'm saying your name right. Are the voices that are on the radio right now tailoring to more lighter vocal tempers that are a little bit more flexible, that sound thinner, or are we looking for voices voices that are stronger. I want to actually substantiate this claim. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the Billboard Hot 100 together and we're going to see who's in the top 100. And we're going to see if these voices are lighter or if they're heavier. Let's see. Okay, so since we were talking about Chloe yesterday, let's stick with female voices. Maybe we should do male voices another time. Okay, good for you. Good for you. Baby. Am I gonna actually play it? Okay, we're getting demonetized. It's okay. Oh yeah. Okay, her voice is totally light. Good for you. Okay, first of all, let's listen to her tessitura. Good for you, baby. Yeah, first of all, she's already in the fifth octave. That should tell us something. Uh, but secondly, like her voice is, uh, Olivia Rodrigo's voice is very youthful. But yeah, when I compare it to heavier sopranos, like say Jennifer Hudson. Now Jennifer Hudson's older, she, her voice has had more time to mature. Olivia Rodrigo's voice doesn't give me thunder. It gives me, it gives me much more um, uh, the feel of say more in Ariana Grande. We're gonna call this a lighter voice. Let's look at the next song in the Hot 100. Kiss Me More. This is funny because it's Doja Cat and SZA. Doja Cat, I would say, has more of a lighter voice when she sings. Oh yeah, she's totally light. I'm listening to Doja Cat use more of her head. The female head voice kind of starts, well, at least for sopranos, it starts to disappear. Like, like C4, the middle C. That's kind of where the voice starts to kind of disappear or it starts to lose a little bit more of its luster and its strength. Doja Cat already sounds like the. Now it's funny because SZA has a thicker voice than, than Doja Cat. So technically it's a lighter voice and a heavier voice, but it's led by Doja Cat. So I'm gonna, and I think the the main money of this chorus is ba, 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 ba. It's even light execution. And Doja Cat has a lighter voice. I'm giving this, I'm gonna say this is a light voice. So, so far, lighter voices are dominating the female pop songs that are dominating the Hot 100. Okay, what's next on the Hot 100? Levitating by Dua Lipa. Okay, okay. I think we got our first heavier voice. Let's take a look. If you wanna run away with me, I know a galaxy okay. and I can take you for a ride. Yeah. We're getting a heavier voice here now. We're gonna use the word heavy, but it's not necessarily the heaviest, but Dua Lipa's voice is pretty thick and dark. I can take you for a ride. Right, she has a lot of body there below the middle C, right? And I feel like she could go even further down a little bit, so her tessitura is a little bit low, but in general, in general, her voice is thicker than say, an Olivia Rodrigo or a Doja Cat, right? We got our first heavier voice. So we got a heavy voice that's somewhere in there. Let's keep looking. We should talk about Lil Nas X because he has a lower male voice. In terms of male voices, I am seeing that lower range, heavier male voices are starting to become more of a thing. Maybe we'll talk about that in another video. And then we have The Weeknd and Ariana Grande on the same song. The Weeknd is a lighter voice higher tenor ariana grande is a lighter definitely a lighter soprano so like <laughs> guys leave the door open lighter voiced male oh then we have lizzo we have lizzo interesting lizzo kind of counts as a hip-hop artist however she sings a whole lot let's take a listen lizzo rumors going on baby take a look right. around if you thought that i was ratchet with my what? tank and now huh. just wait until the summer is Lizzo a lighter or a heavier voice? She kind of sits in the middle for me. I would definitely call her a lighter voice, but in execution, she is a little bit heavier with the way that she uses her voice, especially with the rap side of her artistry. Okay, here's the thing. I can't call Lizzo a heavy voice. When I listen to her, when I listen to like, yeah, woman, 
yeah, I'm great. You know, I gotta be great. Like, I, she doesn't sound heavy at all. Now, I wouldn't call her an Ariana Grande, but I also wouldn't call her a Dua Lipa. I would more lean Lizzo to the lighter side. Now, this is a very basic mode of classifying voices. The reason why I don't get into the classical vocal fach is because pop music is different than classical music. Female voices use their voices very differently in classical music and there are things that are done in pop music that actually don't reveal their voices true character. All I'm just trying to do is just kind of strip down the voices as much as I can mentally and get to where they are and get to who they are as a voice. But I'm gonna go with Lizzo being a lighter voice. Again, tell me how you feel. Put it in the comments, but yeah, I'm, I'm putting Lizzo as a, as a lighter voice. It sits on the middle for me, but it sits on, on the lighter side. So if it was on a spectrum, Ariana Grande was here, Dua Lipa's here. Lizzo isn't all the way over here, but she's definitely not over here. And I wouldn't even put her right here. She's, if this were the middle, she kind of sits on the lighter side. Okay, let's do one more. Let's see who else is here. Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish is definitely a lighter voice, but she uses her voice uh, in a lower part of her voice. Even on Bad Guy, you could hear. Now, when she belts, I remember, I, what was that James Bond song that she did? Her belt kind of peaked. Uh, almost at the fifth the fifth um, octave, but not completely, but she was using much more of a chest range. She hadn't gone past her break to take her belt further up. So um, so there's a lot of factors there, but I'm putting Billie Eilish as a lighter voice. But let's listen to Happier Than Ever and actually confirm it. I don't relate to you. Yeah. I don't relate to you. Yeah, and you can hear, hear how she enters the the fifth octave. I don't relate to you. So range wise, she kind of leans towards being a soprano. I don't know. For what it's worth, this climax that she was in, or whatever the melody is, she's very low in her chest range. But let me imagine, when I think of that weight, the way she was hitting that C before, I think she's actually lighter. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put her as a lighter voice. I That's what I originally suspected, and that's what I'm gonna stick with. How many people did we look at? We looked at Billie Eilish, who was on the lighter side. Lizzo, I put her on the lighter side, even though she's much closer to the middle. Doja Cat, Olivia Rodrigo, Dua Lipa. Then we had SZA, who's actually here. But because Doja Cat's the lead artist, I'm gonna give it to her. Although, if we did include SZA, SZA, again, is much more of a chessy singer. She can lean a little bit heavier, but I'm not totally convinced she's a heavy singer. But if we did put SZA as a heavy singer, we have four, <laughs> four against two. So I think it's safe to say that we have a domination of lighter voices here. But it's funny, I don't know what these actually, what actually these singers would actually say of themselves if you were to ask them if they think their voice is lighter or if their voice is heavier. In the pop music industry, I don't think vocal awareness in terms of singing is very much encouraged. I'm finding that a lot of singers produce something in the studio but when they go live, they don't necessarily reproduce what's happened in the studio. And you, as an unforgettable vocalist, want to be able to do this. And this is why I actually want you to watch my masterclass, reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass is the link in order to see it. I want you to be able to have the tools to be able to understand your voice in a better way so that you can approach a live situation and your overall situation as an artist from a holistic perspective and not one that is ill-informed or misinformed about your own voice you want to be able to discover your voice's true potential so I want you to go to reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass and watch my masterclass and get a little bit more in touch with what you need in order to be an unforgettable vocalist but I at least think with this conversation yeah on the female side lighter voices are dominating the billboard charts so i guess that kind of means i was sort of right but i want you to actually comment with your opinion below let me know what you thought and of course subscribe to this channel because this is the place where we teach singers how to listen and we get you to reclaim your voice reclaiming my voice anyway i'm o'neill gerald donald and i hope this conversation enlightened you i'll see you in another video bye everyone